What's up guys, this is Josh from Team Shift, back with another deck profile. We're here with Michael Ashworth with... Uh, True Draco Invict from and the Loughborough Regional. What did you do at Loughborough Regional? Uh, I top 8 I uh, got another deck box. Uh, it's my second top uh, since the Regional season, but my last one was right before the band list, so... Cool, so let's get into the deck profile. Alright, so we played three Masterpiece, because you want a raw drawer, everyone's scared about Diagram, Cosmics are everywhere, uh, Ash is around for terraforming, and uh, Masterpiece can pop Diagram, you just want to draw your Masterpieces. Uh, two Majesty Maiden and Enigmas, uh, just six True Dracos really, uh, you don't need more. I played Demise, uh, and then the two hard normal summons, quote unquote, uh, Alistair and Blue Boy, just really. Uh, Alistair obviously for the um, Invoked Engine, which you'll see. Um, and then Blue Boy just for the Spellbook of Knowledge Engine, which works uh, with Alistair as well. So those are the hard normal summons, but they, they add a lot of synergy obviously to the deck. Did you think the ratios of normal summons was, or the hard normal summons was good with the, the uh, engine? Yeah, no, it, I honestly thought it was all fine. I mean, technically you play uh, an equal amount of spells to summon your monsters, as well as the endless draw power to reach that, so... Uh, you should be able to get everything on board, even if it's just uh, like activating a heritage to summon one and then not activating and using your hard normal summon and another. And uh, after getting a draw, then you know it's fine. So cool. that worked out really low monster count, eight monsters. Uh, then we played three diagram, three terraforming, uh, three demise. Uh, even though you played the invoked engine, demise was still amazing. Uh, you have to remember that just because you summon Alistair doesn't mean that you're going for the invocation play. Uh, Alistair itself is an instant plus and is tribute fodder, diagram pop fodder, anything. Um, the, the two engines didn't clog with each other. It draws three cards, there we go. It draws three <laughs> cards, there we go. But I didn't play Pot of Duality since Duality doesn't actually gain you advantage. And in terms of consistency, the deck already has it, so... So even with the invoked engine, it still worked out pretty well. Yes. Uh, we played three heritage, three disciples. We played uh, two secrets and two knowledge. Uh, I played two of these and only one blue boy, obviously because the blue boy is the hard normal summon. But uh, you can still resolve your knowledges with Alistair. Especially since the moment you get access to the engine, you have a permanent spellcaster in the form of invocation, like continuously adding back your Alistair. So... Uh, in the off chance that Spellbook of Knowledge was dead, I just popped it with Diagram at any point. I'd eventually draw into my Alistair later and I'd gain advantage with the Invocation and things. Uh, but we played two Desires, two Cyclone. Uh, this should have been three. Uh, I would have played um, a third Cosmic over the Regeki if I had the choice, obviously post uh, the actual event. I didn't like Regeki at all, really. Uh, it's definitely a side deck card. Uh, we played the Meltdown, I uh, played Invocation. Uh, this is a good deck list because it plays Book of Moon. Um, so that was the spells, and then just five traps. So we played the Three Apocalypse, uh, the True King's Return, and the Waterfall of Dragon Souls. Funnily enough, I was diagramming and chaining this a lot, uh, just to search whatever. Sort of treating it as a Mariamne, but in trap form that required to be set a turn. It just worked out as a card, I really liked it. Um, so moving on to the cool, extra so. deck. Uh, obviously you don't really go into a whole lot, but... Uh, Macabre was the most made, uh, invoked, uh, Raijin, uh, whatever the name of that is, uh, Cocutus, I think, this one, uh, never played Paleo, but I still summoned it, because you banish other people's blue voice, that's interesting, uh, Purgatorio, um, this is really good against Pendulums, you just require either you to ash them, or them to ash you before you actually summon it. So do you think maybe you'd just cut like a Raijin down or anything like that, or do you think you'd keep it as uh, it is for now? I could. I would probably replace it with a level 8 Synchro again. Uh, I need to figure out what Synchro is actually going to play. I didn't make anything outside of the Invoked Engine this weekend, but obviously you need to play all the like niche cards. So Scarlight was in case of time, this was to out Beals, this was for the Mirror if it ever came up, this was if I felt I really needed to banish a card in the opponent's hand, time or just damage for game and then this is for a lost world token or a jama Trio tokens uh the only things that were made were this this and this all right the side deck i played uh three ash maxi uh two system down i never needed to use it but obviously it's, it's it, just because i didn't use it doesn't mean it's going to be cut from the side deck it will see its time uh stormforth that uh, just beals really 
uh, Dark Hole, Cosmic Cycling, then six traps, uh, 3D Barrier, and three Anti Spell. Uh, I never lost when I drew Anti Spell, as per the use of the card in the first place. Um, it was pretty silly. So, so was Anti Spell Siding purely for Pendulum, or did you play against? Uh, it was. I I drew it quite a quite a bit against Pendulum, apart from the guy that Zafi on me for five. Um, shout out to that guy. But no, uh, Anti Spell was just stupid and. Even if you, like, need to get rid of it, you can just tribute over it or pop it with a diagram already on the field. It was never an issue. Um, cool, so... Yeah, that was the deck profile. Any um, final thoughts? Any sort of, no, like, major the, changes? The deck works quite well. Uh, obviously, we've got spirals coming out. It'll have to change. But no, shout-out to everyone on the team. Um, shout-out to Eames for catching my cold. Uh, shout out to Manascrew, our new sponsor, obviously they're really cool guys, sorting us out with everything. Uh, shout out to McDonald's for not letting us film the deck profile, but we got the slot. Uh, other than that, it's all good, so thank you very much. Okay, thanks guys.